All right, so this message came to me and I wanted, I'm, I'm tired and I'm dragging ASS today. So I'm hoping that I can speak this and not drag it out. <laughs> but that's why I wanted to speak on it because it's like, no matter how many times we come back up and we think that we're going to get there. We're we are going to figure it out. It's going to be fine. Like we're going to be able to take this next steps. It's like, it's not that we can't do that. We can, but it's like life always has this way of like humbling us. And I'm so, 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 so grateful for it, even though it's hard being patient and like these other things, I'm so grateful for the times I'm humbled because I don't want to have a big ego. Like I don't, I want to, I want, and that, that's not, that came to me today too, that I'm like, I really want, I want to be around people that, that I feel like there's this res, like we, there's this reciprocity and this resonance, but also that humble me and like check me when I'm out of line. Like I really want that because I have this part of me, this is very intense. Like this ain't, I have this like Egyptian roots or something and it's just a part of me. Like I have to accept that. Oh, that feels really good saying that because I, that, that kind of ties into what came to me is that <laughs> days like this when I'm, when I'm tired, it's always frust It's always harder and it's always frustrating. And I hate it because I'm like, until things shift or whatever, it's like, Ted, I'm Teddy's world. And it's like, I really want to be able to be everything that I can be for him. But I always do that to myself. I always put all of this responsibility and these burdens on myself. And I think that some of us are just that way. But being aware of these things is everything. It's like it helps you so much to be like, to and like, you know, that's why I also love meditation. And I am talk to my guides. So I don't know what it's like for other people, but they even will humble. They even will like check me and be like, you're just human. You can't be perfect. You can't be on it every single day or whatever. And so, but that reminds me on these days that it's like, I want to be able to stand on my own, but it's not wrong. And it's not even not wrong, but it's like, that is something that I, that I, I do want to have support in my life that, that I, I feel safe with, that I feel like I always go back and forth. I always go back and forth about it because I'm like, okay, I'm on this path now. I got to figure it out. But then I'm like, okay, but I need support. And I go back and forth and back and forth. And so that's where that patience until things happen is hard because it's like, well, I do have to keep doing this on my own. I have to figure it out. But it reminds me on these days when I'm lower and I'm tired that I really could use the help and that it, it doesn't, it's not like a setback because it's, it kind of, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it does and it doesn't, I guess. It, um, I don't want us to be in this place forever, but it's, you know, things are meant to be when they're meant to be. So, but what also was hit me is that after watching the Super Mario movie yesterday, it's like, <laughs> we all have, and I, would, I especially think for like the masculine, but like we all have the, the, the Mario in us and we all have the Bowser. We all have been like a villain at some point and maybe not everyone, but the harsh reality is that we do become in some ways like the company that we keep. And that's been a really hard truth for me to face because I'm like, okay, well, it takes time sometimes to realize that you may have a karmic tie with somebody that is around you or that you, like people are negatively inf influencing you or that a big one for me is that is like being used. And so like I, I have, I've had to face that that's a part of, of me that I don't feel more worthy of attracting better. And then I'm just allowing this, this same cycle to repeat over and over and over and over. And I feel like a slave but I'm not making it, I'm not making the changes. I'm not saying, okay, I'm ready for more. I want better. I don't want this anymore. Like you have to, that's where you have to make that change is to say, I'm, this isn't okay anymore. I don't want to be in this place anymore. Cause it's like when we're in, when we are being, feel like we're being used, like we're still acting out and like coping and self-sabotaging in other ways where the universe is just like, all right, well, you're going to keep doing that. Then we're going to keep giving you the same. And so that's what happens is that 
then we become more like the Bowser. And not to say like you're torturing people, but it's just like, you're, you're staying, we're staying stuck in this toxicity. Like our minds have all these crazy ways of, oh, I had, a, I had an example earlier, but I don't, I think it's gone now. Oh, that we like, we feel like, oh, these people need us, you know, like these people. And it's, it's not to say that there may be some truth in that, but like there was a point in time, I think about that with Teddy and like, there was a point in time like, it's not that he doesn't, because it, it, that's, there's, there's lines there. That's like, it's not that he doesn't need me, but it's like, I started to take on more and more and more responsibility of like, oh, he can't do this. So I'm going to do this. And it's like, a lot of it has been because it's, it, that's actually easier than having to stop and teach him all these things. And some stuff it's like, at one point it was like, it was overwhelming the amount of stuff that he needed to, that I needed to help teach him. So it was like, it was, it was easier to get through the day by me taking on certain things, but that made me feel like that slave. And it was like, it's not his fault. Like he's just here doing his thing too. And so that's where facing those things sometimes is really scary or it's just intense. It's hard to have to face that, but that's how we set ourselves free is to be like, is to realize, holy, sh holy ish, I'm playing the villain. I'm not, I'm not actually a victim to these things. I'm not actually a slave to these things. I'm allowing this to happen. And, um, we all have that Mario in us too, who's like gets back up and is ready to fight and, um, wants to create this, but wants to be the hero, you know, wants to be the hero. And, but he, well, he's the hero. He saves Brooklyn. What, you know, but, being the hero in your own story. Um, it's even this, even the movie with Bowser, it was like at the end, he, I don't want to like, what's the, I don't want to um, spoil anything, but he says something about like, you have to suffer with me. And that's what happens with our minds is that we drag other people down. We, uh, we pull other people into our stories instead of it being like, I want you to, um, I don't, it's, it's like, we want our, we want to, we start to, we seek things that, that keep the stories going as a, instead of saying, Hey, I want you to check me out to elevate me. I want you to put me in my place because I don't want to stay stuck here anymore. I want to move on and want to move up to the next thing um and even mario had to have um mushroom power <laughs> so it's like we all need things that give us that superpower and um <laughs> i just really wanted to use that as a metaphor but It takes, yeah, it's the, I always think about the courage. It's like, it takes, it takes so much courage to be the Mario or to be the Princess Peach, to be that person in your story instead of being a victim to everything, instead of just trying to appease and please the needs of everyone around you. And, um, cause we think that it's selfish to say, I want better for myself and I have to let all these people go because of that. But it's actually not because we forget that their character, everyone is characters in the story and we're not actually meant to hold on to everybody around us. And that we, if we feel, if we feel enslaved to others or attached to others, we're, at, we're actually hindering each other. We're not actually pushing each other to be better. And then another big realization is that that means that not everybody is going to be elevating with you and that's okay. Cause another big thing that's happened to me is I've just tried to observe. It's like, sometimes things will shift and you'll realize like, okay, these, there's still these, like these people are going to potentially still be a part of my life. They're just not a main character anymore. They're just not, they don't, um, they don't have the same role anymore because you're shifting roles. So I think it's always fun for me to like think of it more as like a game or a play because it's like 
when we put so much weight and so much stress and so much responsibility on ourselves, we're unhappy. And then that, even if you are very strong, it's still going to affect we still can't be, we still can't be our best selves. So like for me today, like I'm just going to have to take it easy and not, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but I've, that's one of the biggest learning things for me on this journey is that it's like, it's not wrong to just take rest days. And that was a really, that's a really hard one for me. Cause I just learning to rest was a big one and it still feels weird. Sometimes it still feels wrong, but it's like, when you start to come back into the body and you start to learn that your body needs you to honor its needs and that you're creating that, you're, you're, you're nurturing that bond and that relationship with yourself. It's like, well, every time now I say F you book to my body and like demand more of it, I'm, I'm losing that trust with myself again. So that's where that self-sabotage comes in. And it's like, and the difference is like, night and day with like the universe. Cause it's like, once you choose, once you say, I want better for myself, it's like, it starts to get harder and harder and harder to self-sabotage. So that's just for, if you'll see if you are, if you are in that place and I'm going to stop going on and on about this. Um, yeah, that's all I had. <laughs>